Hello, my beautiful Aquarius. Welcome to your weekly love forecast for April 23rd to the 29th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you'd like a personal read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerz.com, or check out the description box below. All right, my darlings, we are going to talk about your day-to-day, uh, -day, your love interest feelings, the block studies and challenges, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue to this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so what's going to happen with my Aquarius Romantic Love Life for April 23rd to the 29th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so let's first start off with the day to day. So we got the Justice card. Also, Aquarius, remember you can check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign for more information. Your sun sign represents your soul, your moon sign represents your emotions, and your rising sign represents your physical you. Wow, okay. All three of these make up who you are, so feel free to cross watch. Interesting, these last two days for a lot of signs actually are very good. Um, so that's interesting that you also have it as well. And this is gonna be the love interest feelings, okay? This is the blockage for this week, and this is gonna be the overall outcome. We're gonna take a look at that in a minute. So let's see the overall energy. Queen of Wands, so yes, you guys are very attractive here, Aquarius. You are attracting a lot of people checking you out, wanting to be around you. You just got that a lot of chemistry and passion, very sexy energy about you. Um, but there's some things that are coming in possibly for some of you that you're not really sure if you want. Um, okay, so let's see what's gonna happen here. So we see the blockage is you're getting some kind of, there, there could be communication that could be a blockage. It could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, okay, for some of you, because these represent messages or past or potentials. So there could be something to do with an Aries Sagittarius, excuse me, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy here. But we do see there could be an Aries Sagittarius Leo energy and a Gemini Libra Christ energy and a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Okay, so. We see for the April 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, and 29th, okay? So that's the days here. So the first day looks like here, you guys are making some kind of decision. You're trying to see this from all different directions and angles here. So it can be a balanced decision. So let's get more information about this. What's gonna happen my Aquarius in romantic love life for April 23rd to the 29th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. I feel like what's happening also uh, for the next day here is someone's stepping up and they're speaking their truth here. It's trying to say that they're doing all the right things here because there is potentially a situation that's gonna turn passionate there with the Page of Wands energy or there's some flirting going on with the Page of Wands energy, okay? So we see, we see message, we see great fortune, and we see message here. So. When we see the sad news card, it doesn't always mean that there is going to be some kind of sad news. It could just be your thoughts are kind of like sad or you're concerned that someone's gonna be sad about this decision, okay? We see that you're, there's, a, there's, a, oh, there's somebody who is trying to speak their truth and you know, be logical about this and say and do all the right things for their fortune, for their happiness. And we see, yes, you guys are receiving a potential passionate message here with the message card coming out with the page of wands. Okay, so continuing further on this. Let's have my Aquarius's romantic love life for April 23rd to 29th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Yeah, I also feel like someone is trying to come forward here, okay? Um, but it seems like there is some hesitation. Okay, so anyway, we see Missing you, making an effort because of family. Okay, so there is a person, okay, so we see here, that is making a decision because of sadness and missing you, okay? So this decision is being made because they miss you. And we see that, yes, they're gonna speak their truth and there's gonna be a happy energy about this because they're gonna make an effort here and that's by the 24th. We see that there's some flirty energy and flirty messages going on here. And we see that there is a want to resolve this situation when it comes to, now this card is like the 10 of pentacles energy, okay? So it could be saying you're having abundance, okay? So abundance of 
chemistry and passion and flirty messages, okay? Um, this could be saying, okay, I want to resolve the conflict with family. So, and there's some flirty stuff going on between you and this person on that day, okay? Or there is something based in this flirtiness, this potential for passion that could turn into long term. Okay, so again, we see truth is coming out here. Okay, that seems to be the theme of the week. Truth is coming out here. That also means because we see the blockage could be some kind of good news or potential for a long term commitment. Also, that could be part of the blockage because, like, okay, do I really want to go there? Because we see truth is coming out. Queen of Swords energy, and there are some kind of expectations here, some kind of patient energy for this. Something Somebody's been waiting to speak their truth here because they want a positive outcome around this situation, okay? They're hoping for a positive outcome. So far, we can see, Aquarius, that they're really missing you. They want to make an effort towards um, a serious situation or they, there's an abundance here for you, right? Good, good energy coming in, and it's very hopeful. And then we see on this day on the 27th, you're at a loss here. You're kind of like, or you're leaving someone out in the cold, the five of pentacles energy. You're taking a break, coffin card energy. You're stopping something, you're ending something because there's some deceptions here or you're wanting to end these, these lying deceptive kind of energy here. You're ready, you wanna leave that out in the cold, you wanna stop that. Okay, so you wanna stop that about this situation with this person, okay, so so we see family, hopeful energy, but there's some deceptions here. Okay, so we see that the Knight of Pentacles is coming out for the 28th. So there is a lot of overanalyzing. Okay, what do I do here? I need a slow walk. I need to take an action here, but I need to slow things down so I can really figure this out before I take this action. But then um, something unexpected happens. And again, this is seemingly happening for a lot of signs here. I'm gonna have to look up the astrology, but this is 28th and 29th are interesting days because there's something something sudden and unexpected coming up here in communication. Okay, so you're gonna get some card draw conversations here and you're not gonna be expecting it, okay? You're not gonna be expecting this. It seems like this week is about revealing truths and some unexpected things that are happening for you guys. And then we see timing is right. Wheel of Fortune energy, timing is right, but there's still some falsities here or someone's still not being honest about the fact that they have regret. So they're, they're hiding their thoughts from you. Okay, in this conversation, they're hiding their thoughts from you. Okay, so let's bring this all together. Aquarius, I miss you. I wanna make the effort uh, towards you know the long term or to resolve the situation with family and family conflict. I'm trying to be hopeful here. I know we have to you know hide this or be deceptive about this, but I want to have a conversation about this situation because I do have a lot of regrets. But I'm I don't know how to go about doing this. Okay, so continuing further. There is sadness here and wanting some, uh, you're gonna have some great happiness and great fortune because of this text message letter or document that you've been expecting and waiting for. So your expectations are about to end because of this sudden unexpected situation here, unexpected here, it's, you weren't expecting this and you're, there, there's still some sense of hiddenness about this situation, okay, or deceptions. Like they're hiding some things here, okay. We see that there's a decision to speak a truth and to flirt, page of wands energy, to speak a truth about the sense of loss, but then we see there's some slow walking going on, a lot of overanalyzing going on before taking another action, but then we see things turn in your favor, wheel of fortune energy. Okay, going further, let me just check my volume, okay, good. So let's see, look at your love interest feelings, okay. Before we go further here. Okay, so your person wants control. They want sense of, a sense of order. Uh, there also could be a father energy because we have the official persons like the emperor. Um, this person is one the wants love and devotion. They're trying to be patient for reconciliation. They feel like you were taken away from them, possibly by work or by uh, a sense of order or structure or having to have things done in a very structured, organized way, okay? Or a routine, but they feel like you've been taken away from them. And they want to be more than just friends. 
and we see they want to assert themselves. That also could be the case too. There's a, a want for power, control, okay? And because they want that taken away because they have a lot of concerns, a lot of worry here, stress, worry, and they, there's something to do with other people involved in the situation. Three of Cups could be more than one person involved in the situation. So your person wants love and devotion to them. Uh, they want a reconciliation with you. Um, they want more control or assert, they want to assert themselves when it comes to these other people because there could be another person infringing upon the connection for some of you. It could be a friend, or it could be a father for some of you, or something to do with a friend at work or something to do with work and friendship. So we see that this person wants a sense of joy, but they, they want to celebrate this connection, but they're stressing it and worried and concerned about other people. Okay, so blockage. We got the Page of Pentacles, we got the Confusion card, and we got the Pathway card. So, yeah, the, the blockage seems to be, do I really want to go there? You know, do I want to do this long-term planning with this person? I'm confused about what to do. You're getting some kind of good news, right? And it's potentially something long-term, Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, but you have a sense of confusion what to do about it. <clears throat> okay, so let's go further. Six of Wands, Tower, there is the unexpected thing again. <laughs> yep, look, it's straight, it's so straightforward. It's so straightforward. It's like saying you're getting a victory here, but it's shocking to you because there's communication coming in. All right, it's happy. It's a happy situation. Completely happy. Uncertainty, love. So you're finding out that they love you, Ace of Cups energy. We see there is this despair courtship and hopeful energy. Mm. So let's bring it all together, Aquarius. This week, you are going to get a victory. They're going to get your attention and it's going to be sudden. It's going to be shocking. It's going to be surprising. It's going to be some big changes happening for you guys this week because of this communication of wanting to move things forward fast. Why? Because of love. And why does the shocking surprise happen? Because of uncertainty because of uncertainty. And what's going to happen? They want to get together. They want to meet up. They want to spend time with you. There's a lot of regrets about what happened. And they want to spend time with you and it's very hopeful. Some of you may even travel or this is going to be everything that you wanted. Your, your dreams here okay, are going to be fulfilled because this is the Distant Horizon card. This is like your wishes, your dreams being fulfilled here because of this communication about love. Ace of Cups energy. Yep. Things are aligning your favor, Aquarius. I'm single and available to pursue. I want to heal this connection. I'm obsessed with you. And very soon now, you're going to have to make a decision about this ex-partner, this other person. We see, I'm thinking about you. There's success and love coming with the main person. Oh my God, what a great card combination. Okay, so we see there's been the situation where my hands have been tied and stuck in the situation. You know, High Priestess card energy, I want to invest time in the Seven of Pentacles energy. And we see, I'm trying to be nurturing and supportive. I'm ready to move past these barriers. And we see there's a truth about this. There's new ideas, new perspectives about the situation. So you're going to gain new perspective about this. A decision is made about the main person and it's sudden. Sudden luck in your favor. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is definitely the week of sudden stuff happening. <laughs> This is crazy. This is crazy. All right. Yes, you know I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. I will see you guys another day or two. Have a great next couple of days, and I will see you guys soon. Yes, you know I want to hear from you guys, okay? I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you guys soon.